episode 52.2 the integration of octopus agile with my hot water system after the combination gas boiler failed um, late 2019 I replaced it with a hot water tank and a 12 kilowatt electric boiler with two heating elements three kilowatts heating elements um, the 12 kilowatt boiler will be a backup so I moved to um, two smart plugs controlling each element on timers and where this worked great um, it wasn't linked to agile at all so I ended up um, using IFTTT to try and get the smart plugs to react to octopus agile through their um, applets and triggers however the IFTTT was not reliable enough and when it did work it tended to be a little bit late so it was no good to um, integrate it with the octopus agile cheat rates through the night but as this was coming towards spring, I decided to get a My Energy Eddy device so I could um, use the access solar to charge the hot water through the day after the power wall had fully charged. This also gave me the opportunity to boost the hot water if necessary and also set up timers within the My Energy Eddy device. After the install and looking through the manual, I did find um, a way of um, taking advantage of an economy 7 setting um, within the my energy eddy device but this would rely a, a eddy relay sensor board installing into the eddy which cost about 45 pounds so i installed that and instead of using a time clock to trigger the economy 7 tariff i decided to use the smart plug to to trigger the e-sense um, within the relay to start up the eddy to heat up at night um, as we got closer and closer to the winter this came more prevalent because we weren't getting the solar to fill up the power wall and heat the hot water and the only downside to this was relying on IFTTT again but it was just too unreliable and too slow to react to the octopus agile tariff so I started looking for another alternative and came across eco push which um, says they um, use the octopus agile api to trigger to trigger a smart plug so i i invested in one of these and then set up the time so um, between 12 a.m and 7 30 a.m um the cheapest 120 minutes would charge up the eddy vi um, via the e-sense and this has worked quite well for the last three months and i've not had any issues whatsoever with connections or anything like that so the eco push um, has done its job and linked to the my energy eddy really really well and i'll probably keep this running throughout the summer as well to give the hot water a boost in the night after the um, solar pv heats up in the day so we've got a full tank of hot water every single morning so it took me best part of the year to get this right but it is working brilliantly now so hopefully everything in the future will be really good and the eco push will become will be reliable so as usual thanks for watching if you've got any questions or comments please add it to this section below and please like and subscribe and you can also add um, the, the same eSense connection to the my energy zappy car charger as well so that might be something i'll look into in the future